Hey Grand Travelers! Welcome to our video about our port day in Nassau, the Bahamas. We visited this port while cruising on board Oasis of the Seas in July 2022. It had been 10 years since we stepped foot in Nassau. To find out why, as well as what our day was like this past summer, just keep watching! On the day we visited Nassau, our port hours were around 1 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. All aboard was 7.30 p.m. We weren't planning on spending a lot of time in port, if any. Back in 2012, we visited the free public beach named Cabbage Beach. There was so much sea lice in the ocean, and I ended up having a massive allergic reaction to them. I needed three steroid packs to completely get over the reaction. I also, for the first time, and the only cruise I've ever had to do this on, saw the doctor on board twice. Between that and persistent hair braiders and sellers of goods, we avoided Nassau for years. But as we really wanted to sell on Oasis, Nassau was part of the deal. Now, if you're wondering about Cabbage Beach, sea lice, and if there's still a problem, interestingly enough, a YouTube video popped up on our news feed last month from the channel, How We Cruise, about their encounter with sea lice at Cabbage Beach in June of 2022. I will leave a link in the description box below. In this video, they are told that the sea lice season is ending soon. My cruise in 2012? was in September y'all. So my opinion is to swim at your own risk if you go to Cabbage Beach. We were still debating last minute even on what to do in Nassau. We didn't book an excursion of any sorts. I would have liked to have gone swimming but only if we were at the Atlantis Resort. In the end, I decided I wanted to get off the ship and at least visit the market. The first thing I noticed when we got off the ship was that this was a totally different dock than the one we docked at in 2012. There was also a lot of construction on the pier that day too. To get from the ship into Nassau took us about 10 minutes walking time. The Bahamas was also celebrating their 49th Independence Day as being a free and sovereign nation from Great Britain, although they are currently still a member of the Commonwealth. Once you enter Nassau, the straw market is to your left. You will immediately see it. There were lots of numerous stalls at the straw market with reasonable prices overall. All of the local ladies running each booth were friendly. A good number asked if we wanted our hair braided, but they were not overly persistent, which I appreciated very much. I came up on a cafe called Linda's Place. I was so excited to see my mom's name. For those who don't know about my parents and the tragedy that occurred last autumn, just click the info card in the top right corner if you'd like to know. So I took this photo of the sign with Linda's place on it, and wouldn't you know, the lady on the bottom left is Linda herself. When I spoke with her about my situation, she had such uplifting and encouraging words to share with me. So I encourage you, if you visit this straw market and get hungry for a snack, please visit Linda and tell her my Linda sent you. After checking things out in the market, we walked across the street to the well-known cruise port stores because I didn't see a coffee mug at any of the stalls, but we didn't find one in any of those stores either. So we moved on and headed further down the street and turned right at the corner. We walked just a little bit and then found an alleyway of local stores on our right, so we poked around those stores for a little bit for a coffee mug, but still didn't find one either. So we made our way back to the stalls where we purchased t-shirts, a magnet, and a backpack for my sister-in-law. 
Altogether, we spent about an hour in Nassau before heading back to the ship. Overall, I can say that I am so glad I decided to get off the ship and walk around for a little bit. Even though we had ladies calling to my daughter and me to braid our hair, sometimes two or three at the same time, they were very respectful and kind with our no thank you. At one point, walking around the market, some of my money was hanging out of the fanny pack I was wearing. One young local lady ran up to me to tell me about it so that I didn't lose it. I really had a much better experience with the locals than I did in 2012. I wouldn't hesitate to visit the straw market and downtown area again. I hope that you gained something useful with this short video. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? We would appreciate it very much. In our next video, we will discuss our day spent at Perfect Day at Coco Key. As always, thank you so much for watching.